Hi guys. Angie with brushed some boards and stenciled up. How's everybody doing? I gotta see if I can pull you up on my iPad because I don't know if I'm gonna see all my comments or not. Still. Because I've been off for two days, you know. So I don't know if I'm gonna get all the comments on my phone. So let's, oh, here it is. All right, we will see. How's everybody doing? I missed you guys two nights in a row. Hi, D. Lord. Hi, Agatha and Myra. How are you guys doing? I missed you guys two nights in a row. What's up, everybody? Hi, Trisha. Hi, Cassie. Hi, friends. We're going to do the cutting board that me and Ellen did the other day, but door size. It's going to be adorable. Hi, Evie and your niece. How is everybody? Hi, friends. Hi, Julie Coy. Hi, Mayor Poe. So, I think I'm going to paint my white first. I'm going to paint buttercream because I don't want it really white. Hi, Sandy and, and Aline and everybody. Joyce. So I'm going to do buttercream. Maybe. Ooh, hold on. Nancy, everything's okay. Uh, <clears throat> so last night, last night, Kurt had to put Sammy down. So at 7.15, she got put down, so that's why I can't go live. Hi, Betsy and Cindy. Thank you, Julie McCoy. So I couldn't go live because we had to put Sammy down last night. Hi, Sandra. All my orders are all done. Yep. I did, I did. I had them all done, ready to be up there Monday. Hi, guys. Hi, Peggy and Debbie. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm I'm good. Yesterday was a sucky day, but today I'm fine. Hi, Tammy and Donna and Vicky. Okay. I think I'm getting all my comments. Hi, Kathy. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, I'm not. Hi, Donna and Debbie, Sarah, and Tammy Pitts. Okay, I'm not getting all my comments, so I'm going to have to keep looking down there. Thank you, Kay. I love this one. Hi, Holly. This one's adorable, and it's going to be bigger. Hi, Cassie. Thanks, Kathleen. Thanks for the stars, Evie. Hi, Melissa and Barbara. Okay, so I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint the first part white. Thanks for the stars, Ellen Wellen. Thank you, Harleen. So I'm going to go up a little farther than I need to first. Just so I don't have to fill it in. Thank you, Rita. Hi, Sarah. Oh, no, Cheryl. That stinks that you're getting sick. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks for the star, Cheryl. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, Kaylin. Thank you, Janet. You're not going to hear her little, her little tap dancing no more. Hi, Kathy. Thank you, Barbara and Linda. All right, so I got my sides. Now I'm gonna turn it, get it in the picture for one. Thank you, Nancy. Hi, Janet. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Connie. Okay, so I'm gonna paint it white. And I'm gonna start here and go down. I don't need it up this high, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and have to fix it later. So I'm gonna start right there and go down. Thank you, Melissa and Tracy. Hi, Scott. So I'll show you where I started in a second. Where is this stuff coming from? Lord. Thank you, Tammy Pitts. Right, Julie McCoy. That's what I was trying to tell Kurt all night last night. Kurt, Kurt had a hard time with it. That was not Kurt's dog, but he says it wasn't his dog, but it was his dog. Thank you, Janetta. Oh, Ellen, I didn't even do that on purpose. That was, that's funny. I didn't even do that on purpose. Thank you, Joanne and Janet and Kim. Guys, no more animals in this house. We are done. Thank you, Denise. Hi, Jennifer. We're done with animals. We are never getting another animal again. No, it's just too hard. If you want to go on vacations, you got to get a dog sitter. They get sick, they cost a ton of money. I'm just, I'm done with dogs. This is the first time in 23 years I haven't had a pet. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Teresa and Janice and Joan. Okay, so I got one coat on there. And see, I only went like, I went about a half, about an inch away from the top is what I did. 
Happy hump day, Jeffrey. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Simone. Okay, let me dry this. We're gonna do another coat. Cause I want it, I want it covered. I'm gonna do it rustic, but I want it covered. Hi, Jane and Nancy and Alicia. You didn't, Gloria. Thank you, Betsy. No, Ellen Wellen, I mean it. Uh-uh. Last time my last Yorkie died, within a week I had another one. It's been two months for cricket, so no. Right, Julie. Right. That's enough. Thank you, Gloria. Hi, Suzanne. Oh, yay, Serena. A dog's life. No, I'll have to look that up, Arlene. Thank you, Verna. Hi, Susan. We're going to put a quick, another quick coat of buttercream on here. You did, Cindy? It's horrible. It stinks. It stinks. So I'm going to go around my outside first. I mean the top outside first. You just got it, Julie? I don't know if we should keep paying these people to do that if it's going to be so late. Mentioned something about... Oh, he did? I didn't. I didn't see his whole live today. I only caught half of it. Thank you for the stars, Rebecca. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jeffrey. 16 years. Oh, gosh, guys. She was bad yesterday. It was it was something. Hi, Tina. Yeah, Ellen. Hi, Phyllis. Thank you, Deborah. So, yesterday, I'll tell you what happened. Yesterday, I had to work. So, I went to work, and luckily, Kurt put her in the garage like he's supposed to do when I go to work. Cause just because she's getting old, and I don't want her to have an accident in the house. So... I know, Peggy. Oh, Deborah, is that what he said? 12 years. Mm -mm. Thanks for the stars, Carolyn. So yesterday, um, I had to work, and then I stopped at the loft, and so Sammy was in the garage from like 7 when Kurt left till Lyra got home at noon. Lyra got home at noon, and Sammy was laying in the garage in a in a big old puddle of pee, and she'd been laying in it all day. So Lyra took her out to the grass and took her everything to get her to the grass. Laid her in the grass, and she laid there for five hours in the same spot. Yeah. So I got home, I called Kurt, I'm like, oh no. Her gums were all white, and her tongue was white, and that's not good. And we had to take her in, it was time. Hi, Lisa. So that's what happened. Lyra had to sit with her for like four hours until I got home because she felt so sorry for her. Okay, let me dry this. I know, it's so sad. She was such a good dog, guys. Such a good dog. Other than her running off and I have to go get her on a live. She was a good dog. Yeah, she couldn't even stand up by herself. Her back legs weren't working. They were like jerking. It was, it was horrible. Horrible. Thank you, Cindy Witt. Okay, I'm going to dry this. Hi, Amber. I'm not seeing all my comments still. She was four, almost 14, so she lived a long life. Thank you, Alicia and Jill and Tina. She lived a long, good life, guys. Yep, she's shutting down. It was not pretty. But she's not hurt no more. She's better now. You know what I mean? Thanks to Lisa and Mary. Hi, Judy. Okay, we're almost done with this. We want to get this real dry because we're going to put a piece of tape over the paint and we don't want it to peel it off. Yeah, she's free of pain. We don't want it to pull our tape off so we have to dry it really good. Hi, G Oh, I said hi, Judy. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Marta. Guys, I get so many more comments on my iPad than on my phone. It's ridiculous. And it's been how many days? I was off two days, so it's been about four days that, that Facebook's messed up still. Hi, Scott. Thank you, Karen. Hi, Kathy. Okay, I think we might be good. All right. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our black, our, not our black. We're not painting black. We're going to do our blue next up here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wing it. Hi, Pat. 
Yeah, he had a hard time with it because Sammy was his girl. Thank you, Lynn. Right, Ann. Thanks, Joan. Okay, so I'm just doing as much as I want. You don't have to leave a certain amount of blue on top. I just, ooh, I just eyeball it and do it. Oh, Terry, I didn't go live yesterday. We had to put Sammy down, so I had to take, I took two days off in a row. The first night, I just took the night off, and then I see, what, who is that? I see that, Deborah. Hi, Hersha and Sunita. My phone is an iPhone. Hi, Beth. Hi, Alicia. I just got... Oh, Shannon, we had to put our lab down yesterday. Really, Mary? Thank you, Bev. Really, Donna? Wow. Hi, Edie. Okay, see, I put that piece of tape right here. You can barely see it because it's against white. So all this right here, I'm going to paint blue. And I'm going to use Bunker Hill blue because I'm, I'm going rustic, guys. Full-blown rustic. Thank you, Brenda. Hi, Kathy. Thank you, Phyllis. Hi, Rita. Guys, I try to talk to everybody. I know it's annoying, but I don't like to leave anybody out. Thank you, Hersha and Renee. Thank you, Mary Moore. Hi, Judy. Okay, this is all going to be Bunker Hill, and I'm going to paint away from my tape first time. So let's do that first, just away. And I don't want this perfect, so I might not even fill it all in. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just winging it. I haven't really thought about it. Thank you, Deborah Smith. Hi, Shirley. So I'm getting my sides. Let me get those first before I go any further. Hi, Teresa. Thank you, Rita. No, no, Tammy. Seriously, no more dogs. I, I am so done. I can't even see straight. I'm so done. No. There, guys, there's much work as a kid. I'm telling you. Thank you, Barbara and Carolyn. Okay, I'm going around my blue and I'm going around this little hole right here. Get that blue. You did, Cindy. I I was surprised nobody guessed it. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Rita. And Kay and Julie. Okay. I'm done with my blue around the sides. Now, let's finish painting it. And I want this really rustic. Hi, Paula Dean Down. The board's going to be... And what are, is the numbers? The numbers. So this board, this board does not come with a stencil. So the door hanger size is 20. The wreath size is 10. And my numbers tonight are door blank 715, wreath blank 716, painted 717. I love this blue. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Cindy. So I'm painting this in. And guys, rustic, rustic. I want it rustic. So I'm just winging this. I don't want it perfect. I'm leaving a little bit show behind. <clears throat> Thank you, Judy. Hi, Lissy. Hi, Janice. All right, guys. I'll quit saying hi in a minute. I don't like leaving people out. You know that. Okay. So here's my first coat. And, it, and guys, it looks like crap, but that's the way I want it to look. So I'm going to dry it and see what we got. Leanne Morgan on Netflix. Oh, I'll have to try that. You didn't have no idea, Rita? I know, I didn't want to scare nobody, but I, I, I wanted to tell you I wasn't going. Oh, it would, Ann. Hi, Carrie. Yeah, Lyra. Read Lyra's comment. He did, and I'm like, oh, hell no. No. No more, Ann. I'm done. You get attached, and I'm done. Nope. First time in my life I won't have an animal, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. All right. We got this dry. Now, it looks cruddy, but I want it this way, so I'm going to leave it this way. I'm going to pull my tape off. I know, Ellen. I said the same thing last time, but this time I'm serious. Season three of Outer Banks is out. When did that come out? Pat, I gotta watch that tonight. I love Outer Banks, guys. 
Thanks for the stars, Uncle Kenny. Okay, guys, this is what I got so far. And see, it's icky and rustic, but that's why I want it. I have a cat, but it's at work. He doesn't come home because my people are allergic. So I have a cat. He's at work. He stays at work. All right. Let me cover up my blue. Let me see what I want to do next. I think we're going to paint our red stripes next. So what I'm going to do is... Thanks, Deborah. Okay. Let me get a pencil. Here's one. Thank you, Jude. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for the stars, Shannon Moore. Okay, guys. I'm going to measure these. I'm not going to wing it. I'm going to measure them because I want them the same size. Hola, Karina. Como esta? Oh, Shirley, it stinks. Hi, Jeannie. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Where's my measuring tape? Hold on. I got one somewhere. Here it is. Okay. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, Ellen. Yeah. You do what you want, girl, but I am not having another dog. Okay, I'm doing two and a half inch. So I'm measuring two and a half inches all the way across. I'm marking it with my pencil. Thank you, Nancy. Two and a half inches. Guys, you don't have to do two and a half inches. This is what I'm going to do. Two and a half. Two and a half is five. Now, now i got to sit here and think. Thanks, Teresa. Okay, two and a half, five. Seven and a half. And 10. <laughs> I'm counting, guys. I'm counting. Okay, and then the rest is just going to go. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take something straight. Really, Ellen? My car. Oh, gosh, that's another story. Guys, I had a bad day yesterday. So, this is what started my day. On my way home from work. Oh, nobody's going after us because we don't have to hurry. Okay. So, on my way home from work yesterday, about, I stopped at the loft. So, about, I don't know. 2.30, I was driving from the loft home. My engine light comes on. And I'm thinking, hmm, they had it for two days, said they drove it all this time, and the engine light never came on. So the engine light came on. So I call the guy, and I'm like, look, my engine light's on. He said, get here in a hurry. So I had to turn around, drive all the way back to Collinsville. They put it on the scope and said that it's my turbo. He said, here's a car, loaner, go home. I'll call you tomorrow. So he called me today and said, I need a whole new turbo. So that's what they're doing. So I don't know when I'm going to have it back. But I'm so glad the engine light came back on before my warranty was out. Lord, I would have had a fit. All right, I'm going to use this to draw my lines because I don't have a ruler handy. And I'm not going to, I'm just winging these lines. I'm not measuring two spots and making sure they're perfect. I'm just going with it, guys. Just going with it. So I'm just going to draw me a line because I'm just going to eyeball these and paint them with a the paintbrush because I want it not perfect. So that's the plan. I know, they would have just let it go. I'm like, uh, no, I ain't letting this go because I've never bought a brand new car before with this one. And guess what? That's a lot of money and I'm not letting it go. If it's on you, you need to pay to fix it. Not me. So I was not letting that go. Trust me. All right. So here's my lines. Right, Deborah. See them? You can barely see them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape over my blue so I don't get any red on it. Oh, darn. I'm out of tape. Shoot. I I have a, a Buick Encore. 2021 Buick Encore. Hold on. I got some more tape. And they gave me a, a 2023 Buick Envision for my loaner. Hi, Kay. So that's what I'm driving now. But I like driving my own car. I'm nervous driving other people's cars. I'm afraid if somebody hits me or whatever. Okay, so I need tape. So I'm going to tape right over the top of my blue right here. Because when I do my stripes, I don't want my red to get on my blue. So let me find it. That's why. You have, you do, Joan. I like it. I just like my own car. Hi, Gracie. Darn, guys. Can't find it. Don't you hate when you got a new brand new thing of tape? Hi, Gracie. I already said that. And you can't find the dang end of it. You bought an Envision. I really like it. It's black though. And I won't never buy a black car. Yeah, Turbo's bad and it's a 2021. I'm like, hmm. Well. Hi, Sue. Sarah, I don't think it's that. I can't even feel it. 
Lord, this might be a long life. Let me try the other one. I don't have patience for that. Not today. Encore is bio. What you mean, Joanne? The envision is bigger. Yes. I wanted a small one. Hi, Cindy. What is going on with this tape? I found it. Sorry. I found it. Finally. Goodness. That was like pulling teeth. Thank you, Roseanne. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm going to go right over top of my blue because I don't want to get my red on my blue that I just painted. So I'm just going right on top of it really quick. Not perfect. Don't care. Now, my glasses are over there, but then I have to take them on and off and on and off and it drives me nuts. Okay. We're going to use Barn Red. Hi, Debbie. Barn Red. And we're going to just freehand this thing. You did, Julie? Well, maybe you'll get lucky. My turbo, I didn't get lucky. Yeah, they're fixing it. It's at the body shop now. I don't know how long they'll have it. So they're fixing it. Hi, Garlene. Missed you. All right, guys. Here's what I'm doing. And I don't want my lines perfect and everything. I mean, I want them straight, but not perfect. So I'm just going to wing this. Because I don't want them perfect. If I wanted them perfect, I wouldn't be winging it. I'd be taping. But I don't want that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with red over here, okay? And I'm just going to line up my line and paint it. Because I don't care if it's perfect or not. So that's all I'm going to do. On and off. I don't like putting the glasses on and off and on and off. It drives me nuts, so I don't do it. Unless I have to have them. And I'm not filling it in all the way. I'm leaving it icky looking. But let me go around my side. So I don't forget. And my bottom. Hi, Sarah. All right. So, I'm swiping away from my tape at the top, guys. Don't forget that. And I'm just doing that. See how I'm leaving some out? That's the way I want it. So, I'm doing it. So, next line. That one's going to stay white. So, the next one. Starting at the top. And I'm just swiping it down. Don't care if it's straight. I want rustic. Hi, Janice. I have to do the same. I don't like the on and off. It drives me nuts. I'm like, forget it. I don't need them that bad. Okay, so I know that's not perfect, but that's the way I want it. Let me get the bottom on this stripe. Okay, one more red one. One more. We had our... Three deer in our backyard the other day. Oh, Katie, name one Angie. That's so cute. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh, Rita. This one's adorable. Okay, but I'm gonna come this way. Hi, Gail and Tracy. And I'm gonna do my last stripe. Just winging it. It's not totally perfect. Totally fine with me. Now I'm gonna go down my side and finish the stripe. That's good. That's all I want. So, hi, Debbie. So, let me lid this one up. Let me take my tape off. So, we got a pretty straight line there. Let me get me a baby wipe because I got a mess going on. Hi, Gail. All right. So, I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to put some stain on top of it, I think. Hi, Jojo. What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to put some stain and stuff on top. Then I'm going to draw in my stars with the white paint pen, which I don't want them perfect, so you don't get a stencil with this one. But it's cheaper when you don't get a stencil. So I'm drying my red, because I don't want to run my stain through it wet, dry, wet paint. Hi, Jill and Cheryl. How is everybody? Jill and Serena, I think, hi Amanda, I think I've decided I'm going to make a group, a private group for the people that paid for the bow class and then invite you to the group and then you'll be able to watch that video is what I'm thinking is going to happen. 
Hi, Sharon. That's what the girls told me to do, so I'm working on that. Well, I had another one two months ago. We had to put Cricket down, my Yorkie. So now we don't have any. Which I'm okay with, guys. I was sad yesterday. I'm okay. She's better off. She's not in pain, so I'm all right. No, we're going to make the bouquet. I haven't made it yet. We're going to make it on here. Okay, so this is what I got. Messy looking, right? It's okay. Hi, Wanda. So now I just have some stain that I've had here for a long time. And this is Early American. It's my favorite stain color. Thank you, May. Thank you, Debbie. Now I'm going to take me an old shop rag, okay? And I'm going to put some, I'm going to, I'm going to ball it up a little bit and, and get my little rag down in there. Awesome, Serena. Sammy just got too sick and we had to put her down last night. She was that bad, Mary. She was that bad. I don't know. She was bad yesterday. There was no more waiting after yesterday. Okay, so I'm balling it up because I got a lot on the spot that I put and I don't want that much. I want it kind of dry. So I'm balling it up to get a bunch off is what I'm doing. I want this kind of dry. I don't wear gloves, Julie. Gloves are for sissies. No, I'm just kidding. I don't wear gloves. Gloves are not for sissies. It just came right out. I can't help it. I don't know why that came out. It just did. But I don't wear gloves. So sorry if you wear gloves. I really, really didn't mean that. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So look, I'm going to go around my sides with the stain. I just come flying out, guys. I really didn't mean it. <laughs> gloves are for sissies. Now I'm going to go down my stripes. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like in a sec. It just slipped right out. I apologize. I apologize. All right. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? Maybe a little more. I love the rustic look. You don't wear gloves either, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. It's an accident. It just slipped. All right. So that's how I want it. But... All I did was just a little stain and dried my towel and put it on there really dry. So I got that part done. Now I'm going to try the stuff I tried the other day. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So it's that Dixie Bell, shoot, gemstone mousse, the amber color that I had the other day that looks really icky inside. It's hard. I know, Melanie, it is hard with no puppies. So see how look dried and icky looking it looks? I just put it on the end of my finger like that. Kind of looks like poop, but it, it don't smell. It's all right. And I put it on my paper like this. I just swipe a lot of it on my paper because I don't want all that on my finger. And then I just run it around the edges. You don't have to do this part. Right, I don't have a filter today, guys. Sorry, I had a bad week. <laughs> my filter is gone. No, I'm just kidding. And I just rub it around the sides. I just like how that makes it look more rustic. See that? You don't have to use this, but if you have it, it makes it look really good. So I gotta go and get some more and rub it on my paper. I know, Julie, I knew you say it looked like poo. I knew it, and I'm just rubbing it around the sides with my finger. And like I said, you don't have to use this, but it makes it look so much older. It's really nice looking. Hi, Charlene. Guys, we got a lot of people on here today. I haven't had this many in a long time. You guys must have missed me. Almost done. I know. I'm going to have to talk to her about that. Jana uses gloves all the time. Thanks, Linda. Okay, now I'm going to go down my lines. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ellen, can you message Je Debbie Aggie? Aggie? Aggie, how do you say it? I can't remember how to say it, Debbie. Thank you, Charlene. So, I got some on my finger. I'm just going to go down my lines just a little bit. And down those lines. And then we're done with this part. You were worried. I know. I'm sorry. Thanks, Sue and Debbie. So, I'm running it down this line. And I'm going to go down every line. You don't have to do this. I like rustic. That's why I'm doing it. I want it to look old and crappy. Thank you, Connie. Okay. Two more lines. <laughs> Joyce, that's funny. Yeah. All right. Okay. I think I'm done. So let me show you what we got. But let me wipe my fingers off first. 
Thank you, Garlene and Peggy and Debbie and Barbara. I know, Deborah. Nobody was going on, were they? Hi, Lori. All right. So here's what it looks like so far. And guys, I love it like that. Love it. This side over here is a little dark. So what I'm going to do is, see how it's real chunky right there? I'm just going to take my finger and smudge it over. And it makes it look more, more like, you know what I mean? I can't, I don't know the word. More whatever. I'm going to do that on this side too because I like it. More, I don't know, smoothed in. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but. I know, I'm a mess tonight, Scott. I don't know why. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you. All right, now we're done. So now, rustic, yeah. So now we're gonna use our white paint pen. Sorry, Alicia. <laughs> oh yeah, me and Ellen are gonna DIY this Sunday because next Sunday she can't. Vintage, that's the word I'm looking for, JoJo. Aged, yes. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Antiqued, yes. We're gonna take a medium paint pen, medium Posca paint pen. Ooh, sorry. And I'm going to, I'm not using no correct words tonight, girls. It don't matter. Okay, I need to see my email about making my bow. I know that my package already shipped. Cindy, no, I didn't look at my email yesterday, but I will when I get off here and I'll do it. Yeah, he did have a bad day. Okay, guys, here's what I'm doing. I'm just drawing stars on. You know how you used to draw a star when you were in uh, grade school like this? Remember when you used to draw those stars all the time? Real easy. Draw that and then color it in. It's real easy to draw a star. You draw that. Everybody knows how to draw that star and color it in. That's all you got to do. And I'm just randomly putting them on here wherever I feel like I want one. Thank you, Linda. So wherever I feel like I want one, I'm drawing it and then coloring it in real easy, real rustic. Makes it really interesting. Some are a little bigger than others. Some are smaller, doesn't matter. You just wing it however you want it. And it looks like a star because you just color it in after you draw it. It's really easy. So I'm just gonna draw them all over this blue. I know it's gonna take a minute, but we're not in no hurry tonight. Joyce, you have been on good behavior. What's wrong with you? That's what I ask Julie all the time. What is wrong with you? You're, you're like, what's wrong with you? Because she usually don't let up like that. So these are really easy to draw on, guys. And if they're not perfect, that's even better. Because we don't like perfect. I have a shirt that says perfectly imperfect. I should wear that next time. What out? Oh, it's coming, Joyce. I didn't get that, Debbie. I don't know if Ellen saw my comment or heard my comment either, Debbie. You need to message her. And she'll hook you up. Really, Serene, or Deborah? Stars are really easy. I learned to draw these in like kindergarten. It's the real easy stars. I'll show you. See, it looks like that. Wait, wait. See that one? Ooh, right there. It looks like that, and then you just color it in. Oh, nothing happened to Scott that I know of. He just must have had a bad day yesterday. What is the name of the stuff you put around the edging? I'll show you. It's from Dixie Bell and it's called, let me show it to you. It's called Gemstone Mousse and the color is amber. And that's what it looks like. And it's a mousse stuff and it antiques stuff really well. Look how good that looks. Isn't that cool? I just did it with my finger. It was really easy. Okay, guys. Here's what we got so far. See that? Now. Now, I think we're gonna make our bow. So let me get some of the stuff out of our way and we're gonna make our bow. This is on my website, yep. And the numbers for this are door blank 715, wreath blank 716, painted 717. 
Okay, so we're gonna put this aside and I'm gonna show you how to make a rag bow. So let me set this over here. I'm gonna grab all my material. So we're gonna make us a rag bow. And I got, let me see how many colors I got here, or pieces. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six different like pieces, six different kind of pieces. And then this is one of the six, it's lace. Now, I'm gonna take my bow, I'm gonna use my bow maker when I do this. So what I'm gonna do is, I made them longer, the strings are longer than what me and Ellen did the other day. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start up here and work my way this way. And I, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah, I'm gonna antique the white stars, yeah. I wanted to let the paint pen dry a little bit. Hi, Ruth. I'm gonna put some of that in here too, Kaylin. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I haven't done this yet. The other night we did we, we did it in half, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna find my middle, okay? I'm gonna pick which size loop I want, which I think I'm gonna do four inch. I think I'm gonna do four inch. So I'm gonna take my first loop to four, dangle that down, and I'm gonna take the other side to four. Just like you're making a bow, but you're doing material. So I'm taking this side to four and I'm dangling it down. So it looks just like a bow, just like we do all the other times. And then I'm gonna go to the next color. But we're gonna throw in some of this stuff too. Where'd it go? We're gonna throw in some of this stuff and I can't remember what it's called. Wood Collection Excel Excelsior. Excelsior. I don't know why it's called that, but I got it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna throw some of this in. No, we didn't. We put it under the bow. No, I'm not. I'm not. Scratch that, I'm not. Okay, here we go. Hi, Shirley. Okay, so I'm gonna take my next piece, which is this one. I'm gonna find my middle. <clears throat> Drop it in upside down. You want the pretty side down. I'm gonna take this side, make the loop the same size as the last one. It's not called raffia, it's called Celsius. I don't know why, it's weird. I just knew about it. Ellen just showed me it. I can put raffia in with the bow. Okay, so I'm doing the same size loops as I did below. Okay. And then I'm... Um, well, I didn't find the center of that one very good, did I? No. Let's, let's start that again. Sorry. Thank you, Linda. Where do you get your different material? Ellen gave me most of it. I pulled strips off of what we did the other day. And then... Then she bought us more of this. What is this called, Ellen? What is this called, Ellen? I forgot what this is called. She'll tell you in a minute. And she coffee stained it. See it? She coffee stained it. Hi, Rhonda. Okay. Let me grab me some raffia because everybody wants me to put raffia in you. Hold on. I gotta find it. I just cleaned my garage and moved. Oh, here it is. All right, we'll throw some raffia in here too. Uh, muslin, that's it, muslin. This is called muslin. And she bought it by the yards and we ripped it. She coffee, coffee stained it and then we ripped it. It looks really cool, coffee stained. Muslin. I, I think of something else when I think of that. I just, I don't know. So I'm just throwing some of this in. I'm not making loops or nothing. I'm just throwing it in just like that. We could trim it up later. Cheesecloth, that's what I was thinking, but it's muslin. All right, so the next one is muslin. I'm gonna find my middle this time. Put it down. I'm gonna do the same size loop again. She is, Jill. Same size loop as the other one's four inches. And we're just doing the same thing we've been doing. And we're gonna make a bow out of this stuff and it's adorable. Thank you, Ellen Wellen. This stuff's adorable in a bow. All right, so we're just gonna keep layering those guys. So this red and white ticking's next. Find your center, around about your center. Drop it in, pretty face down, pretty face down. And then make your loops again. And I think I'm gonna keep all my loops about the same until I get to the last one or two. Then I might make it a little smaller. Um, my, my strips are, let me tell you how long they are. Hold on. They are 
They're like 36 inches long. You don't need them that long, so I'll probably cut some off. And they're about an inch and a half wide. About 36 long, an inch and a half wide. So, let's keep going. So we're just layering these on top of each other and keeping the same size loop every time. Really easy. So now we're gonna go in with this blue star, find our middle, put it down, pretty face down, make our loops, same size as the last loops. And I'm gonna throw Raffi behind this one. The star ribbon Ellen bought, I think she might've bought it at Joanne's, she said. I'm almost positive she got it at Joanne's. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw some more, well, I'm gonna throw this lace in next. Thank you, Anita. Okay, I'm gonna throw this lace in next. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of this in. Make the loops same. Guys, this is the easiest spell you'll ever make in your life. Seriously. Oh, that's not centered. I did not center. I don't center very good. All right, there's your, there's your lace. It don't really matter if it's laying in there real nice because it all comes together. So now I'm back to the, the beginning again with this one. I'm gonna put this one and then some raffia. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Donna. She soaked it in coffee and then baked it, but she could tell you exactly what she did because she did it and I don't know. But she said she soaked it in coffee and baked it. And guys, let me tell you, don't tea stain because it don't work. This stuff right here last night, I tea stained a ton of it with like 12 tea bags and let it sit, boiled it, let it sit for hours, let it dry over, overnight and it's still as white as it can be. So tea does not work. If you want to stain, use coffee. All right, raffia. Just a couple little sprigs. Now I'm to the star one again. You want pretty face down and make your loops. Oh, you just noticed my shirt. I didn't do that on purpose either. I just grabbed one. Guys, I cooked today too. I made stuffed peppers from scratch. Tea stain does not work. It was horrible. I'm like, well, I just did all that work for nothing. All right, so I'm in with the muslin again. Muslin, muslin, sorry, muslin. I'm gonna start making my loops just a tiny bit smaller right now. Just like a, a pinky's width smaller. Not much. And I'm not twisting none of this either. The material you don't have to twist. I know it was a total accident. That's why I don't like it being called this. Because I slip. I don't know why. Every time. Lord. And I did not do that on purpose either. I apologize. Really apologize. Alright. I got strings going everywhere. Stuffed peppers. Oh my gosh. With a bunch of cheddar cheese. Melted on top. Yum. Stop! It was an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean it, I promise. You guys know I'm not that way. Okay, this one's gonna be the same as the white one I just did. Lord. Oh, Lisa, that bread was stinking horrible. <gasps> that was horrible bread. Oh, Ellen, I'll tell you later. It was bad, but it just, I don't know what happened. I'll tell you. I don't know what happened. It just slipped right out. Brown acrylic paint and water to stain. You can. Maybe I'll try that next time. I'm making you hungry. I'm hungry too. I haven't ate yet. Okay. Uh, lace. We're only going to put a couple more on here and we're done. I think it's probably thick enough now. So, I, maybe I'll just top it with this lace and be done. I think that's going to be my last one. I can't say what I said again. I, I, that's what I said, Amber, up there. <laughs> and it was a total accident. I don't like saying this. It just comes out wrong. All right. Scratch that. Okay, where's my, here, we're going to use twine, and we're going to tie it up. 
You kind of need two people for this. It was innocent. It was innocent. Yeah, it was totally innocent. I promise. Okay. So I'm just putting this down in between my two pegs. This is a little harder with only one person. Ellen Wellen, I need you. I'm going to pick it off here like I usually do my regular bows. And you have to just be careful and not let it go. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting these in between. And I got a little space underneath, so I'm going to try to wrap it around my bow before I take it out. Because I don't want it to fall apart of me. So I'm going to tie it. Not all the way in a knot, but I'm going to tie it. Wait, wait, I'm stuck. Hold, hold on. I got it, okay. I'm going to tie it before I pull it off because I don't want to lose it. So see, ooh. So let me tie it a little tighter before I do anything else. Because if I lose it, I'm going to cry. She's thick. This is a big one, guys. This is a thick one. Hold on. Now I can't find my middle. Turn. Somebody's doing wheelies out in the road. Hold on, I'm having problems. Where is my center? It's really not this hard, guys. I'm just making it difficult for some reason. Found it, I think. All right. So I'm this time I'm gonna tie, I need Ellen's fingers. I'm gonna tie it real, real tight in a knot. I'm gonna attempt to. And I'm gonna tie it in a knot a couple times because I don't want it to come loose. I might have made this one too thick. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. Oh, it's looking pretty cute. Hold on. Why did I got some of my strings going up that way? What in the world just happened here? Hold on. I'm having issues. Lord, I got strings going up to the top. What in the heck happened? Hold on. I got to fix this. It's going to drive me nuts. My strings are all supposed to be down here. All right. Hold on, I'm almost ready. That does not need to be up there. That needs to be down here. Guys, I'm on a struggle bus tonight. Struggle bussing. Struggle bussing for real. All right, I found the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I got a button, a blue button real quick. I don't know if I do, but I'm gonna look real quick. Hold on. Ow. I think I have just regular buttons in here. Of course, it's the other one. Okay. Uh, thanks. Green, red. I got red buttons. So we're just going to take a, just a red button and glue it on the top. Just to make it look finished. I know, I wish I had American flag button. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the back of my button and stick it on there. And hold it on there for a hot minute. I do too, Debbie. Sorry. Sorry, I feel much better now. Sorry, I do have issues. It's not my day. Okay. All right, ready? Look how cute this bow is. Oh my gosh. Now a couple of my strings ended up at the top and I don't know how that happened. So I'm just gonna pull them down. This is adorable. Will you take orders if this one sells? Yes, Kay, I will. Just email me. I do. I pee fast because I know you guys are waiting on me. Look how cute this is. 
I am all issues. Look how cute that is. See that? Isn't that adorable? Just an old raggy bow. I am a hot mess. I can't help it. You gotta go. You gotta go. Like now you gotta go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. I love that bow, guys. It's adorable. Guys, these are so easy. Everything come out okay. All right, I'll save this for another bow. I know I pee fast. I don't like making you guys wait for me, but I couldn't wait until my live was over. All right, so I kind of want my bow over here. That's going to be stinking adorable. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Melissa. Okay, but I want some of this Excelsior over here. It sounds like I'm saying something all fancy, and it's not fancy. I don't know why they call it that name. I love this bow. This is only my second one I did. Ellen just taught me the other day, and I love them. Okay, so, Excelsior. Ex Excelsior. Excelsior. So I'm going to take some and I'm going to put it down under my bow. Now all I'm going to do is put a glue spot and glue it on there. That's all I'm going to do. So I want a bunch under my bow. Let me make sure I got enough to where you can see it. Nope. I kind of want to put it like on the sides. See how I got it like on the sides in the middle? I left open for my bow so you'll be able to see it more. This bow's so big, you can't even really see it, though. Yeah, these are torn from a square fabric. Yep. Excelsior. That's it. Okay, so. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So let me glue the stuff on here. Excelsior on here. And I'm going to use this open piece of tape to hold it on there so I don't burn myself. Yeah, I got it. Oh, darn, I forgot to antique my stars. I'm going to do that right now. Hold on. Let me, let me wait on that Excelsior. I'm going to take the same rag that I just used earlier, and it's still got some stain on it. And I'm just going to wipe over my stars a little bit. Just to make them a little, maybe I get a little more stain. A little more. I dried it off. It's awfully dry. So I'm going to just dip it in there a tiny bit more. See just the tip? Now I'm going to wipe a bunch of that on my towel because I don't want all that. And get a lot of it off there. What? What I do? And I'm just going to make some of my stars kind of stained brown to match the rest. So I'm just wiping this over each star. That's it. And now they're all rustic like the other ones. So let me show you. See? See how they're rustic now? She, she just got really bad last night, and she couldn't move her back legs, and her mouth and gums were all white, and we took her, and she had to be put down. It was her time. She'd been fighting it for a long time, so it was her time. All right, hold on. Hi, Shirley. Yes, Alicia. Oh, the wreath. No, it's gone. It's sold. Just the tip, yes. Hi, Kathy. Okay, that's dry. This this empty tape thing works pretty good for not burning your finger. All right, so now I'm going to get my bow where I want it. And you can't even barely see the Excelsior. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Lorraine. But it's okay. So I'm going to pull a little of it up here and glue it. Because you can see it up there. Thank you, Janet and Garlene. So I'm putting it right there. I'm holding it down with that so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to glue my bow on. Right now. So I'm putting a bunch of glue right there where the bow's going to go because I don't want it to fall off. And I'm just going to hold this bow down on there for a few minutes. Hold on. I'm going to hold it down there. And we're just going to have to hold it for a few minutes because I don't want it to fall. Kurt's good. He was a mess last night, but he's good today. He's better today. He's actually not even home from work yet. He had a hard time this morning because he gets up and sees Sammy and takes her out every morning and everything. So, and gives her medicine. So he kind of had a hard time before he went to bed and when he got up today. But he'll do all right. Right, Shirley. She's not suffering. Mm, I think I might want to put a little more glue under there because I want to be safe. And I'm going to trim up my tails because I don't need them that long. 
I'm gonna slap in a little more glue under here. I might even slap a staple in here later. We'll see. Just in case. Thank you, Charlene. Yeah, I might have to staple it. I'll probably put a couple of staples in it. But let me hold this on here for a minute. I don't want these all wackadoodle like that and so long, so I'm going to trim some of these. Yes, if this one sells, I will do. I will take orders for these, yes. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Sandra. The number for the, the door hanger blank is 715. The wreath blank is 716, and the painted is 717. Thank you, Danita. Oh, Kurt, tell me. All right. Let's trim up some of these tails because I don't want them all wonky like that. I don't want them all the same, but I don't think I want them that long. So I'm just going to trim some shorter and some longer and just make it kind of even up. I don't know. We'll just quit when we think it looks good because I don't want them that long. I don't want them hanging past the board like that. So I think I'll do a couple shorter and a couple longer like that and I think it looks good like that oh it's so cute it's cute oh this one's too long but are you ready to see it it's so cute let me look at it first oh my god that's adorable wait I want to get some of these crazy ones here out of there that's stinking adorable Adorable. All right, let me pull you up and show you. I did. I made the tails all different lengths. So some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. So you can see all the colors of fabric. All right, let me show you this. This little loop up here is a little wonky, but I'll get that fixed. This is stinking adorable. You ready for this? Guys, if you did this in a wreath one and put this on a wreath... That would be amazing on the wreath. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This loop right here is giving me a fit. But what I think I might do, I don't like it like that. I think I'm going to cut it in half and make it two tails. Because it wasn't looping right and I didn't like it. That's stinking adorable. Look at that. Okay, thank you, Ellen Wellen. Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. I love that bow. And look how rustic the sign is. I love it like that. So that's it. That's all I got for you tonight. You can do this in a wreath size too and put it on a wreath. That would be adorable on a wreath. But this just hangs on your door like that, guys. Or in your kitchen on your wall or whatever. So you just put your twine right through this hole and hang it like that on your door. Isn't that cute? So that's it. Guys, this one was super simple. No stencil needed. All right, guys. I'm, oh, let me show you one more thing I made today. Hold on. Where'd it go? Wait. Oh, this. Look at this. What are you doing? Are you in here? Oops. Look how cute this is. It's a bee. It's a moss bee. And it's got burlap stripes on the bottom. And I made that bow and put it on top. Look how stinking adorable that is. I was going to do it on a live, but I thought this is going to be a five minute live because all I got to do is make the bow. Isn't that adorable? I got this. I got this from General Hosa. Isn't that cute? Just a, a moss bee with the burlap stripes at the bottom. See them? And a bow. Oh my God. That's adorable. I don't know what I'm doing with it. So if anybody's interested in this, message me. It's adorable, but I don't have room for it. I don't have room for nothing. Thank you. What are you doing? How are you today? Did you have a good day? I got it at General Wholesale when I was there. I love that bee. I should have bought more than one, but I only bought one. They're all saying sorry about Sammy. Are you all alive? Yeah. Thanks, everybody. I know there's nobody happy to see me when I get home. <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear him? He said, oh my gosh. 
I guess I'm gonna have to start jumping around like a dog when he gets home. He said, I know there's nobody at home. What'd you say? There's nobody there's excited nobody when I get home. Happy to see me when I get home. There's nobody happy to see me when I get home anymore is what he said. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Next time I'll jump around like Sammy did. Will that help you? He's hilarious. She did though. Shut your wife and a dog in the truck for a couple hours, open it up, and who's happy to see you? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it's true though. When Sammy seen Kurt's van driving down the road, when she could walk, she was up circling the house. I mean, you know how big our yard is, circling the house. Until he got in the driveway, and when he got in the driveway, she met him at his door. And she jumped like she was a one-year-old. Every day, like she ain't seen him in a month. So that's what he come home to every day. So now he doesn't get to. I know, Julie. Be sure to let him out in the morning. Start barking at him. Where's Tyler home? He's not. He probably drove his motorcycle. That's all I can think of. I wasn't here when he left. I know. Hey. Ass is a bad word. She does that. She did that every night. All right, guys. I'm going to go and eat me a stuffed pepper. Thanks, Laura, for the stars. I will see you guys again tomorrow at 7, probably. I appreciate. No, Tammy. No, no, no. No. All right, guys, I appreciate every one of you hanging out with me every night. I really do, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Have a good one. Bye.